breader after 120 minutes of hard work that was quite a cruel hand to be dealt right in the final moments there yeah um, incredibly hard to take that defeat uh, we're going through um, a very very tough time uh, and I hope this is rock bottom and there's only way one way up uh, from from here um, one thing I do know is we're going to work as hard as we can, as hard as is possible to, to resolve the situation. Um, we were hoping today, of course, to, to, to get a nice game and, and a good win, uh, but we didn't manage to do that. So we need to put that to bed and, um, and work extremely hard every day to, to put our form right and, and start getting some results. Sometimes things just aren't running for you. And before the goal was probably our best spell where we really had Sheffield pinned back. Yeah, um, we did. But at the same time, we need to be honest and, and say we didn't play as well as, as we would have liked to. Uh, they obviously came here with a game plan to, to have uh, loads of uh, players behind the ball and, and defend deep, which they did well. Um, uh, but I still st think we should have um, should have beaten that team. And it's uh, it's um, uh, typical uh, for our form and, and our luck at the moment. Uh, and um, there's only one way out of it, and that's hard work. You could see at the full time whistle the anguish in your faces and, and your teammates as well. And when you're applauding the supporters, you could tell how much you appreciate that support and how important it will be to the team going forward. Yeah, it's going to be massive. Uh, you know, I'll be the first to, to, to say that I, I really understand the frustration of the supporters. Um, but I think the only thing we can do, uh, everyone associated with the club, the players, the staff and the supporters, is to try and pull in the same direction and, and um, resolve the situation uh, as best we can. So uh, um, that's all I can say really. I hope, hope they can get behind us and, and cheer us on uh, to hopefully uh, some better times ahead. How determined is this group of players to turn this around and, and make the most of the situation? I think if you were in our changing room after the game, you would you would see that there are a lot of good guys who really care about this, and um, uh, everyone can can rest assured that there would be no stone unturned uh, in, in the quest to to resolve this. Uh, so um, that work starts tomorrow morning. And there are very different challenges that lie ahead now. There won't be any more teams that play with eleven men behind the ball against us, certainly. So those are challenges we will have to rise to. Yeah, I think uh, now it's about it's a lot about character now and, and um, who's up for the fight. Uh, and when I look around the changing room, I, I see a lot of good good guys. So uh, I'm hoping we will have enough. Uh, even though we're playing tough teams in the, the next couple of games, who knows? You know, we're gonna go into battle and, and see what happens. Thanks a lot for your time, brother. No problem.